Get your merch at bitterbettypodcast.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we are here with a request. Um, in the HOG Discord, I have a friend who messaged me and asked me to if me and the girls would uh, react to this. I'm not going to lie. I've already listened to it because he asked me to, and I didn't know he wanted us to, re- to react to it yet. Uh, but the girls have it, so this is new for them. And it's okay because I, I suck at catching things anyway, so maybe maybe I'll catch something I didn't catch before. Who knows? <laughs> you ladies ready? Yeah. Um, yeah, but we'll get it. it um, it's it's Ra- Raza Rich. And uh, Venom, bring it to featuring Venom. Yeah. Venom okay. Pool from Discord. Yeah. All right, let's go, ladies. Okay. And Raza made the beat. I'm mission trying to get it, baby. I've been out with this spirit. There was no one standing with me for real. Now that I got everything, all I did trying to take me. I'm a spot. I tell them that you better bring it for real. Ain't nobody getting off easy, no. Why was it so hard to just believe me, no. Promise I'm gonna get it when I got it. You can take that in the closet, cause you know that I'm a bring. Now I got it. Say what's on the docket. Honestly, I'm bringing on. Lock on the target. What's the way I pop it? Don't like the gossip. Give it to him, bring it to him, don't be off the topic. Tell my haters to watch it. I know I don't wanna play it at all. Promise I'm gonna get it from a brother. Watch me set it off. Let me get a free throw. Count on me and bad. Say my name a hundred times. Then say it a hundred more. I've been on this mission, try to get it, baby. I went mean, now, it's the spread. There was no one standing with me for real. Now that I got everything, all I did try to see me. I'm a smart, I tell them that you better bring it for real. Ain't nobody getting off easy, no. Why was it so hard to just believe me, no. Promise I'ma get it when I got it. You can take that in the closet, cause you know that I'ma bring it for real. I still real. got it. Say what's on your mind, Hustle on, bring it on, do we have a problem? I don't need a sponsor, rather keep it honest. Give it to them, once they see me bring it, they get silent. Tell my haters, it's nice to know you know I gotta go, yeah. This is too much money for me not to show you. Yeah. I've been keeping quiet, now I'm about to blow you. Yeah. There's a couple of y'all already got to go, yeah. If you really love me, then it's got to show you. Yeah. I don't do the flowers, I just want the power. I'm not coming down unless I'm in the town. Put the thousand hours, now I'm getting hours for real. I've been on this mission, trying to get it, baby. I've been hours, this spread, there was no one standing with me for real. Now that I got everything on, I did try not to me. I'm a spot, I tell them that you better bring it for real. Ain't nobody getting off easy, no. Why was it so hard to just believe me, no. Promise I'm gonna get it when I got it. You can take that in the closet, cause you know that I'm gonna bring it for real. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Wait, <laughs> um, <laughs> I can. Okay, so I can start with my positive and then my constructive criticism. Okay. So <laughs> here's my here's my positive. My positive is that I really um, I really liked actually the flows so um, of of the music. So. Um, However, this is where my constructive criticism is going to come into play. I felt like that I'm not sure, like during the, like the singing part, the the voice was smooth, but there was some kind of um, I don't know if it was like a, like a, almost like electronically something like altering a bit, maybe a little auto tune. Um, and that so I had a hard time, but like I, I had trouble well, following, like, like I couldn't quite understand what was being said. Um, so like there's an app called smule that you can use sometimes and it sounds like it almost sounds like they're using some kind of low quality recording equipment so i think it's just the quality of the recording and like the lack of maybe mixing and mastering or uh, the the level of mixing and mastering to take that kind of i know what you're almost like there's you're singing in an empty room type situation like yeah i can't um i just put yeah it was something there but it sounded smooth like it sounded but like the like, yeah, the singing was um, good. Like yes, like it was good. It just like it was drowned out somewhere, and I I, I couldn't quite like yeah. 
pull where that's, like where that's what I was trying to explain. Um, I, don't, I didn't know how to put it into words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was just sounded kind of drowned out, like washed out, like kind of like just how it felt like the music also was too far in front of of the vocals. So, and I think that's where you lead back to your mister, mixing and mastering. Like the, the music was too mm-hmm. far of the vocals. Um, by no means do I think it's a bad song. Um, I think that um, it's one of those ones, like it, like if you would tweak a couple things, I think that it would be like a great song. Like I, 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 I didn't dislike it. What about the rap bit? What'd you think about the rap bit? The, was it, it was uh, the other guy's rap part. First verse or the second verse? Um, the second. The okay, you know how it comes in with the singing kind of the singing kind of rap, and then the other guy comes in and he's just doing that rap bit, that part. First, the first bar, the first set of bars. I guess so. After the the hook, they do the hook in the beginning, yes. and then yes, after that, and him did his rap, and then it was the chorus again, and then the guy doing the chorus did a rap, and they finished with the chorus again. Right, the like that. the guy that was featured. So you, how, how I, did, I think you mean yeah. Venom, yeah. Yeah, did you... I think you mean Venom. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, so for me again, I thought that again, I think the beat was coming a little bit too far out in front. So then it lacked in the vocals for me. Um, I just felt like they were lost again. I didn't think it was bad. It just it felt it felt like if we just tweaked that like that that mixing a little bit. Like mm-hmm. then it would be a little bit better because the the voice was falling behind for me, um, and uh, so I didn't by no means again and not terrible. It's, like, it's better than what I could do, right? From, so that's what I, at the end of the day right, I always look right. at it. It's better than what I could do. I'm but just, this I is just, just my opinion, right? I would like, like the I would I, like the lyrics just so I know what they're saying because I have a hard time understanding what they were saying. Yeah. I, and that goes, I, I did as like, well. I actually have written, like, uh, enunciation is kind of an issue here. Um, you almost have to be very punchy with your, like, your delivery to in order to, like, make your words stand out so people can understand what you're saying. Otherwise, it becomes too, like, it runs together. So it's hard. That's, like, almost like the mumble rap thing. Not that they were mumble rapping, but that's what happens. And then the words get lost. Um, but, uh... I think the the venom the first in the first verse like part of it is like he wasn't really hitting in the pocket and that could be because the beat wasn't lining up with like the right syllables um in order to make that like like the uh, one thing you you want to make sure that like when you're hitting syllables that either rhyme or have importance that it's hitting on like the bass beat or something that so it makes it stand out and it like it makes it feel cohesive um and so and then he needs to project more with his voice like it was almost a, a slight timid like i think he has the potential here uh with his flow and stuff i just think he needs to be more aggressive with it he needs to attack it a little bit more and have a little more confidence in that and if he can emphasize the syllables a little bit better the words that do rhyme and stuff what he's saying will have more impact right um and then the i i thought the hook was really pretty strong um it, the, it's just the quality of recording that needs to be leveled up and that's just that comes with you know working on it like i mean where we started you know doing reactions or with this channel like where we're at now we've grown a lot yeah. years mm-hmm. right so it's like it's a matter of getting that type of criticism like we've had to take in the criticism people give us and try and evolve from there so it's right. the same thing and then the second verse i actually really liked I thought he had really good cadence and flow and the delivery was pretty good. But my biggest thing was like, it was hard to like, there wasn't a lot of clarity with the lyrics because um, it, it kind of all came to like ran together because there wasn't enough like enunciation of each mm-hmm. word. So, but other than that, like it's actually got a lot of potential. I thought the beat was pretty dope. Yeah. Um, I will say, I think it's just, <laughs> yeah, I, I like I the- it's a production. It's a production issue at this point, but the beat was great. And overall, I mean, it, it's almost there. Just I will say that the, the, I guess the course is that it? The course, the yeah, the hook, the hook, yeah, the whole course yeah. or hook, yeah. Well, it plays in yeah. my, it's played in my head every since I've heard it the first time. Like I could hear it over in my head. So that's a good sign, I think it is. No, definitely. You so. want to have a catchy hook for sure. You know, because yes. that's what keeps people wanting to hear the song over and over again, and that's when you know the lyrics mm-hmm. can come through. But. um 
yeah, I mean, for, you know, I would say just for some independent guys, that's not too bad. That's not a bad start at all. I'd say keep you know, going with it. There's a lot see? of good shit to work with there. Right. Yeah. Keep working. Um, I'll also say, look, I know you, you asked if we would do this together with y'all with us. Uh, we just had a, a rough start today, so <laughs> that we just went ahead and put it on yeah. the list. I'm sorry about that. But maybe we can bring y'all on for an interview or something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And maybe we can talk about it all. Right. That'd I mean, fun. we're not yeah. rappers or anything, but we know what we like. <laughs> I, know, I know. Yeah, I know. I know what sounds good. Mm. <laughs> you know? Uh, that's me that's me and th- and like you can tell immediately with me it's a giveaway what i start dancing. if i like the beat to your song i'm yeah. i'm immediately gonna start bopping like it so yeah. if i'm sitting still and not moving at all and not doing i could I tell probably am like gonna cheat the beat in some way <laughs> right. yeah when i yeah so i didn't dislike it at all like but it's just no, constructive criticism. Because I all. was watching Carol, and then she starts doing this. I was like, okay, she likes it. But I'm looking at uh, Lacey, and I'm like, Lacey's not bouncing yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's but like I was trying she's to She's a little harder to get. Yeah, I was going to say, Lacey <laughs> doesn't bounce as much as Carol does when she's excited about something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Carol bounces yeah. quickly. <laughs> no, it's, I can't do too much. I have right. too ADHD. I have to pay attention. <laughs> It's it's a rough it's a rough go over here. This Carol's a bus. Carol's a tigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm a tigger. I'm a tigger. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I'm a yeah. I, uh, you know the wonderful thing about tiggers. Tiggers are wonderful things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. I couldn't help it. Uh, so all right. Well. um that's gonna be all for us today guys but uh thanks so so much for watching and um you know thanks for the suggestion and uh, we remember everything is constructive criticism by no means any hate and uh we'll catch you in the next one peace out